Hey guys, Buffy Game Bad today bringing our video, and today we are picking up with weapon conversions, our first weapon conversion video here for Modern Warfare 2. So bringing back the series, it's been a long time coming, been really uh, waiting to bring this thing back since really the end of Modern Warfare 2019's life cycle when we were unable to do any more conversions really for Vanguard or uh, Cold War especially. So here the very first weapon conversion for Modern Warfare 2 here in 2022. In this weapon, we're going to be building the Mark 18 CQBR Mod 1 out of the M4. So I thought it would uh, be fitting since the very first weapon conversion video that I did was for the M16 A3 A4 back in Modern Warfare 2019. So this time around, I figured we'd stay with the M4 platform and do the Mark 18 CQBR or the Close Quarters Battle Receiver Mod 1. So let's go ahead, jump into it here. I'll show you how to build this weapon. We'll check out the... Fire in range, recoil control, and then jump in game against bots and see how it handles in an in-game situation. So let's go ahead and back out. And here we see our, if we go back to the gunsmith page, our final build here for the weapon. So I will uh, remove these and start from scratch. So let's go ahead and go to our CQBR class. We'll just select a base M4 here. So we'll equip the base M4. Now jumping in the gunsmith options here. First thing we're going to want is going to be the barrel option. So in real life, the Mark 18 has a 10.3 inch barrel. The shortest one we have here is a 7.5, um, but that's obviously too short for the 10.3. Um, so the only other option, same as Modern Warfare 2019, is we have the 11.5s. So that's going to have to do, this, this is the type of barrel, the exact barrels we would want for the Mark 18s. However, they just have them at different lengths. So here we're going to want the 11.5 inch TH4 barrel. So this is that uh, uh, Knights Armor Company Picatinny wrist rail here. We'll go ahead and select that. It's full length Picatinny rails uh, at 12369. Now the pros for this one are the aim down sight speed and the hip fire recoil control. Cons here are the damage at range, hip fire accuracy, and bullet velocity. Obviously because it is a shorter barrel in real life like i said a 10.3 inch these actually fit with the real life uh kind of what a build of a, of a mark 18 would be would be suited for and the pros and cons of that build so we'll go ahead and select the 11.5 th4 barrel for the mark 18 mod one and now the one thing here for this barrel we'll jump into after we build it is um regarding the gas block and the sight post so we'll look at that now for the laser option we're going to go ahead and I'm going to just run with this uh, this SZ 1 milliwatt pack. So just because I wanted a, a tan pack, this is all subjective for the laser. You can really put on whichever one you want. We have a lot of different options here. Um, and you do basically have the same tack laser right here. Um, this FFS Oli V laser. This is essentially what the uh, tack laser was from Modern Warfare 2019. But I do want a tan pack 15 here. So on that... Uh, right hand picket rail so i'm going to go ahead and run with the sz one milliwatt pack for the aiming stability we'll go ahead and put that on optic here this again you can really go every any way you want the uh, mark 18s are compatible with a bunch of different optics because you do have that picatinny rail that you're going to be mounting on so uh the options here you could run with the uh, eotech or the holographic is one any of these any of these red dots really but the one I'm going to run with, you could also do a uh, Alcan Spectre, which I really love to look on the Alcan Spectre. It's something I would run in Sandstorm and Surgency a lot. And obviously, some uh, some military guys would would run market team builds with Spectre, so it's not unheard of at all. Um, you have an ACOG, of course, and we're going to be running here with a uh, EOTech with a, a hybrid on there. So the DR582 hybrid site, this is going to get give us our... EOTech with that flip magnification for the 4.8 times magnification. Dual optic zoom. The cons here are the uh, very small sniper glint because we are over four times optic here. Um, that's new to Modern Warfare 2. Aim down sight speed and aim walking movement speed. So we'll go ahead and select the DR582 hybrid sight. And now for the stock, we can leave the base M4 buttstock here. This is just the adjustable buttstock. Now, the Mark 18s are compatible with any different stock, so you really could pick anything you want there. We're going to go ahead and skip the rear grip. We obviously want to stay with the M4 platform. Magazine will stay with that uh, base 30 round P mag. Ammunition we can leave at blank for now. Underbarrel attachment here. Now, we're going to go with the uh, that vertical foregrip, the Lockwood Precision. This is the same type of foregrip you typically see on the uh, the M4s, especially the Mark 18 CQBRs. So we'll go ahead and select the Lockwood Precision. 
This is going to be the pro's hip fire accuracy, recoil steadiness, and aim walking steadiness, with the con being aim down sight speed. So we'll go ahead and select that. And then the last option here, um, I'll show you two different builds here, but we're going, go, going to go ahead and put on for the muzzle attachment. Um, this These Mark 18s have, uh, the new thing with the Mark 18s is they have a, um, I believe it's a new M4 flash hider on here. So basically it, it swaps out from the basic M4 to a, I think it's a Knight's flash hider, but regardless, it allows it to be compatible with a suppressor. So we'll go ahead and put on the suppressor here. I'm just going to run this one because it looks more similar to a QD suppressor. We'll go ahead and do the Echelon 6 or the GSX. So sound suppression is the pro as well as recoil smoothness with the con being damage at ranges. You're going to get damage at ranges of con with most suppressors minus just a few here and there for the weapon. So we'll go ahead and select the Echelon GSX. And then the other build I'll show you is we would remove, I'll run it halfway through and we'll run it here in the firing range. We'll remove the suppressor and just throw on... Um, armor piercing rounds. So let's go ahead here and what we'll do is we will jump into our uh, firing range just so we can show that off. Now unfortunately that's kind of a glitch here with private matches is waiting for data center is something that seems to uh, happen continuously here. I'm not sure why that happens if anyone else is experiencing that but it does kick you out of the game unfortunately. So <clears throat> here is our final version right here of the marketing CQBR. Now to preview the weapon here this is actually a, a nice trick. The Faulty Lamp and K-Dog help me out with this. And go to Customize, go to Charm, hover over None. If you're on controller, specifically me on PlayStation 5, your left thumbstick, you want to uh, press it, push it downward. So vertically push it downward towards yourself and then press it in. So with your L3 here on PlayStation, you're just pointing it toward, down towards yourself and then press in with the L3 and it's going to go into this. This is obviously not refined, not finished fully, but this is our... Uh, this whole system here, I think they're you're not meant to get to, and they're going to be refining it. Obviously, it's a little rugged when you get in here, but this is our Mark 18 CQBR Mod 1. And now, like I said, with the Mod 1 versus the uh, Mod 0, they replaced that gas block is different with the front sight post. You can see for the standard M4A1 is not there. Um, so that's one new feature here with the Mark 18 Mod 1. Also, we have full leg Pricatini rail, that um, Daniel Defense wrist rail on there really sleek sexy looking weapon here the marketing cqbr the close quarter battle close quarters battle receiver so let's go ahead and we'll jump out and just jump in the firing range with this build and we'll take a look at uh the the recoil as well as the shots to kill at range so go ahead and edit we'll jump into the firing range great new feature here in this game you can see the preview animation marketing cqbr mod one looking really really good so as far as uh shots to kill at the different ranges so if we step up here i'll just go to single fire just so we can make sure we count so these are these are close ranges this is 10 meters i believe it is so if we do headshots it's gonna be four and then if we look at 25 meters so i think that was five i did miss a couple there let's try again let me let me go ahead and we will actually mount so we don't miss because this is not really a long range weapon so this is I think is this is uh, 50 meters down there so that's gonna be six and then 25 again is five so you have what looks like four here at 10 meters five here at 25 that's four so far five. And then it would be uh, six here at long range. So there's six. So that's that's the shots to kill. The different range is a really useful part here of the of the uh, shoot firing range. You can see the recoil is not at all too bad. You can manage it pretty well, especially just tap fire those longer shots there. Now I did notice, as you can see here, the uh, Reticles are a little bit bugged. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. You can see there, when I flip back to my holographic, it's not there. I do have my laser, however, that I can see, but uh, it is not there. And then if I switch back to my hybrid, you can see it's there, now it's not. So that's something that, uh, one of those bugs that I'm sure they'll be, they'll be fixing all in good time here. And the good thing about the flip is these longer range shots, obviously, it lets us get, uh, Shots on target. Now, one thing I wanted to fix here, just show you, just because I, I do switch to this in the middle of the game here, is uh, if we take off the, if we take off the, uh, 
suppressor and ammo i think i threw on armor piercing so let's just see if that makes any difference to the uh the shots to kill there so we'll go ahead and jump right back into the firing range switch to single shot and so the 10 meters i think it was four the first time still four still five and then for longer ranges here it should be six still let's see Six. Now, 10 meters if I shoot to the chest with the plates. Four. Five. So that's four so far. Should be two more. Okay, that looks like seven for some reason. So I'm not really sure. Let's try that one more time and just see if uh, that was if I missed a shot in there somewhere. So let's see. Okay, so it was six. So that is with armor piercing rounds. So just let me run this build also within the gameplay just because uh, I wanted to show it off without the suppressor as well. So really nice build. Love it without the suppressor also. Not really inaccurate at all. And again, these longer range shots like this, just tap fire and you're going to get shots on target pretty well. So that's the M4, uh, the, or the CQBR, the Mark 18 CQBR Mod 1. Now the recoil for this also... Um, We'll show it off in game here, but it's really just going to be straight vertical. You can see there, it's going to go up slightly to the left. And then if I'm going to control it. So you can see pretty tight shots there. Those are all center mass. Uh, that's a kill. And then you can see the recoil pattern here is going to go up slightly to the left, up and slightly to the left again. So really not hard. You basically have straight vertical recoil. Uh, not too bad to, to do. Now here, you can see your accuracy and hits, which is cool. And that is the fire range. So let's go ahead and we'll jump out. And now we'll jump in game to uh, show off the weapon here, the Mark 18 Mod 1. So jumping in game to the Mark 18 Mod 1, we're going to be playing this uh, on probably my favorite map inspired by uh, Sicario here. This is the border crossing map. Um, this map, I see a lot of people maybe not liking. It's, it's really mixed reviews, but Santa Sienna border crossing is based off of the, the map or the, the one scene in Sicario the first Sicario movie. Go ahead and watch it if you haven't seen it, but there is a firefight crossing from uh, Mexico back into the United States. There's a firefight on the on the road uh, between, I believe, the Mexican and the U.S. side of the border. So this is obviously inspired by that. Uh, also a little bit slightly inspired, the amount of cars I think of that, by um, that one movie with Gerard, Gerard Butler. I can't remember what it is called, where he plays a sheriff. Uh, off the top of my head, you guys help me out down below, but there's a firefight there at the end of that movie that takes place with like a lot of cars parked like this um and it's a very intense firefight so i really get vibes like that when i play this now the marketing cqbr uh you can see in game here we're going to try and play it basically how the, the weapon is supposed to be used which is mainly close quarters uh situations so the cqbr um was is really originally designed as a replacement upper receiver for the m4a1 carbine this was the when they wanted a shorter barrel so it needed to be able to perform in uh there was a lot of trial and error with this so they needed to be able to perform in situations where the m16 and the m4 were not really the best situations because of the longer barrels on those so the modular you need to maintain a modularity of the ar platform which obviously with the ar-15 the m16 a4 allows for a lot of uh a lot of modularity with especially now with this build the marketing mod one for the cqbr you have the full like picatinny rail there so um really there was two things that came out of this program we'll be covering one of them uh later on but essentially started with the salt mock salt mod block one then block two and then the cqbr the close quarters battle receiver kind of took on a life of its own outside of that um and the cqbr is now uh classified as marketing mod one and the or mod zero and then mod one and, and mod one is uh with the sightless gas block removed and has that full length uh daniel defense wrist picatinny rail on it as well so the mod mod zeros originally they still had those uh front sight posts for the, the m4s and then the mod ones 
remove them and replace the handguard with full-length Picatinny rails from Daniel Defense. So the uh, the weapon is still an assault rifle, and like I said, the real purpose of this was to be used by Special Forces units um, in CQB scenarios, things like VIP protection, close quarters, uh, urban warfare was, has been used in combat in numerous situations, lots of urban war warfare, um, things like that. So the type is still an assault rifle. Basically, the need for this arrived, like I said, where the M4 and the M16 were not ideal because they're too long of barrels, but you needed something that was short, compact, and still had the stopping power of an intermediary caliber, which is the 5.56 by 45 millimeter, instead of something like a uh, SMG, like per, say a MP5, for example, or in this case, maybe an MP7, so you guys can, can really know from this game. Uh, those weapons are smaller caliber, especially the MP5 is 9 by 19 Parabellum. Most SMGs are those pistol, cal pistol caliber rifle so they needed something along the lines of essentially a pdw almost but in a uh caliber caliber which is the 556 by 45 millimeter nato so um the marketing cqbr has been uh in service since 2000 um as it was adopted and it kind of came out came out of that uh salt mod program the designer mainly cold defense and daniel defense uh designed in 1999 it was put into production in 2000 as part of i believe the salt mod and then kind of branched out into its own took a life on itself for the cqbr now cqbr like when we use the term close quarters battle receiver this was originally um designed as an as part of, when it came out of the salt mod it was designed as an upper receiver replacement for the m4a1 developed by the u.s navy is what it was developed by so the upper receiver there would basically be everything um Minus your pistol grip and magwell, essentially is your upper, upper receiver. So that whole replacement, usually, typically they would use either M16A1 or A2 lowers in the beginning. And now uh, a lot of the CQBRs are just sold as uh, full rifles uh, made as CQBRs and not used for just the upper receiver replacement anymore. Um, now wars, things like that. War in Afghanistan, Iraqi war is where it has served, obviously, uh, the most recent ones in U.S. history. Um, the mass for this weapon overall... Is going to be 2.72 kilograms or six pounds with the length being 762 millimeters or 30 inches with the stock extended all the way out and when the stock uh retracted those retractable stocks it's going to be around 26 inches so that really just depends on the setting that you have your stock at and what kind of stock it really is the barrel length for the cqbr is going to be 262 millimeters or 10.3 inches as we discussed unfortunately we don't have 10.3 in game but the 11.5 that we showed is the same exact barrel and rail system that we want for the CQBR. So they did the same thing there in Modern Warfare 2019, where they had the wrong uh, length of the rail, but also they had the right the right barrel handguard. So um, not sure why they did that. Cartridge is 5.6 by 45 millimeter NATO, same as the M16, same as the M4A1. Rate of fire is going to be 700 to 950 rounds uh, per minute, with the muzzle velocity being 2,580 five feet per second or 788 meters per second the effective firing range is going to be 300 meters or 328 yards and the feed system is going to be your standard stenag bag either uh 20 or 30 round detachable stenag bag you can even get uh 50 round drum bags as well for the uh ar-15 platform and sites typically iron sites various salt mod sites uh with that with that integrated picatinny rail on the upper receiver so you can really mount whatever you want coming out of the salt mod program and the, and the CQBRs, you get um, plenty of things there. Like we talked about um, EOTEX, Spe LCAN Spectres. You also have um, ACOG sites, different night vision optics. You can mount the PEC 15s and everything in the rails. So that's a really cool feature here with the Mark 18 uh, Mod 1 is a great weapon. And again, very modular. So really the need for this was they needed a, a modular close quarters rifle with an intermediate caliber still being a rifle caliber of the 5.56 by 45 millimeter NATO. So that's where the salt mod program kind of came from. And then the CQBR took on took on a life of its own out of that salt mod program. So uh, CQBR mod one here in this case is a great weapon. And you can see it handles really, really well, especially on this map being a close quarters uh, type map. This weapon, again, designed for close quarters, close quarters combat, CQB. Uh, VIP protection, urban warfare, things like that, which is why it was it was so essential in war in Afghanistan 
and the Iraqi War. You see this thing used by special forces units all the time. This, you probably recognize this type of build from a lot of movies. Uh, probably seen it all over YouTube. Uh, big creators like Grand Thumb have covered it uh, numerous times. It's, it's really a prolific rifle that serves a, a very good purpose and, and is a lot of a lot of fun to use, especially in game. Now, one thing that maybe in the future they'll be adding a M416, and that really kind of the evolution of the CQBR program almost because with these shorter barrels, they do have trouble. There is a lot of issues when designed for sustained uh, fully automatic fire with those shorter barrels. So that's really where the M416 or the HK416 kind of came from as well as kind of a, an extension or a replacement for the CQBR uh, Mod 0 and Mod 1s. But this is the M M4 turned into the Mark 18 CQBR Mod 1. Let me know down below what you guys think. Have you used this weapon at all yet here in the game? Let me know your favorite M4 builds that you have. If you have used this, this particular build for the Mark 18 Mod 1, let me know down below. Also, if you're enjoying the content, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel because we'll have a lot more weapon conversions coming up. I'm really excited to finally have some modern content again to cover with the weapon conversion series. Let me know your thoughts down below. I have links for my social media. We have Instagram, uh, Twitch, and Twitter down below. Now, by the time you see this video later on tonight, I should be doing an episode of The Scope with Crash Games FPS over on my Twitch. And then the plan is to go live with Modern, some Modern Warfare 2 gameplay, hopefully after that, um, and drops will be enabled. But go ahead and follow or subscribe to me over there on Twitch as well. Follow on Twitch so you do get the notifications because I will have drops enabled and I will be streaming there uh, a lot going forward as well as here on YouTube now that we have uh, a good game to play against. So let me know your thoughts down below. Appreciate the support from everybody. Really happy to be back here with the Weapon Conversion Series. A lot of fun stuff coming up. Let me know your thoughts down below. Till next time, Buffer Gaming, out.